Hi, I'm Whitney. I'm Trevor. We're Shea New. Thought we would go over some of the stuff that we're doing today. So you may wonder, why does Trevor have a ladder in his hands? Why does Trevor have a ladder in his hands? Because why I had to climb up the roof. Yeah? Yeah, I had to fix the chimney stack because it blew over. Chimney stack blew over again. Didn't yeah, it? but it ain't gonna happen again. That's because when Trevor fixes something, he does it a whole lot better than what he does, right? Yeah. Yeah? So yeah. what else we got going on today? Uh, I don't know yet. I got to uh, go back and carry on working on the water house. Yeah. I've got to put a bunch of boards on the side. Yeah. So I can set up the tanks in there. Can I show them what you did yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Can I show them? I'll oh, show you. Yeah. You I'll show you. Us. You can show them. Yeah, you can go with Yeah, me, yeah? we got some new additions to our family, so <laughs> I'm going to go put this ladder back around. Yeah, we've got some new additions to our family, so unexpectedly, um, yesterday, we had chicks start hatching. It's going to get really dark because we're going to go into the shed. Uh, yeah. So, unexpectedly, our chicks started hatching and we weren't really ready for that. So, Trevor worked very diligently, you might add, to come up with a brooder. So, there we are. We have... There's five in there, little baby chicks, out of the eggs that we set to hatch. So this was an experiment to see if the incubator worked and if any of our eggs were fertile, so on and so forth. So I'm not going to call it a success just yet because we set like 30-something eggs. So, but we have five so far. So, so far, we'll see what happens. But... Trevor had to build a stand and so on and so forth, so we had some place to put them uh, where they would be safe and stay warm. Because yes, the Missouri weather is still fighting spring. Spring is still fighting winter, basically. Although it's a gorgeous sunshiny day today. Um, it's very windy and we do have low temperatures expected overnight. Hence why Trevor needed to get the stovepipe repaired because we're still going to have to have the stovepipe, the, we're still going to have to have the wood heat tonight. So, eh, lots of different things going on here at the homestead. It's really, really hard to show you just everything that's going on because we just have so many projects that, you know, we work on one for as long as we can or until we get tired of working on it. And then, you know, we we'll work on another one. So Trevor's going to take a minute here and he's going to explain to you what he's doing and why he's doing it. So what you see behind us is the woodshed or not woodshed, watershed, the watershed. So... Hey babe, come talk to them and tell them why are you doing a watershed and what is your thought process here? So Okay, well, when we first m moved in here, we had two IBC totes stacked up on the pile of parrots out in the open. Uh, they were joined together with a manifold, which is all broken up at the moment, but... Um, Anyway, when the winter sent in, the tank started freezing, the pipework started freezing, and we had to dismantle it and rely on the 55 gallon barrel of water inside the house for our water. We did try to insulate them, didn't we? Yeah, we did. What did we try? The pipes. We insulated the pipes and the manifold that joined the two. Yeah. But unfortunately, with it being outside, it was open to all the uh, ice and everything, so that didn't work. So what I decided to do was to build a small shed for both the tanks, insulate it on the inside, and insulate 
the pipe. The pipes are going to run through the back wall into the home. But I can hopefully it will uh, be insulated enough so it won't freeze again. Well, we are going to be putting a heat source in here as well, right? Yeah. Not uh, just relying on the insulation. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably uh, use a, a paraffin uh, stove heater. Yeah. Which we can put in here and shut it off. And hopefully that'll be enough to keep the air warm. We've insulated it. I mean, I've got to insulate the roof and the rest of the walls. I've got to rebuild the wall. We're going to close in all the front and have a little door on it. Yeah, because the way the IBCs work is we have to get to the top to put water in. But the water and manifold and stuff come out of the valve. So that's why there's so much headspace is because when we get this finished, then we'll be able to get there to put the water in right, yeah. right. Yeah. so i'll set up a removable uh, length of pipe that i can just stick in the top and we've got a pump so we can transport water in on another ibc and pump it straight into these yeah this is how we have our water here at home isn't it yeah so it's a really good system yeah it's just getting it right in our first year just one right one yeah um, we're going by trial and error we don't know we don't know if it's gonna work but you know we've taken every precaution we can to a degree I mean if it comes down that it does freeze and we can't defrost it enough we've still got the 55 gallon barrel inside the house to fall back on yeah, that's not coming down until we discover whether or not this works or not. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and that's kind of like what this is about, you know, homesteading and stuff is trial and error. Will this work? We don't know. But, I mean, all our materials we picked up secondhand. Um, we, we picked up some roofing. Uh, the only thing that we bought were two by fours. Yeah. Um, but most of it, even the insulation, is second-hand. It's insulation that we picked up on our travels. Uh, you'd be surprised what people will throw away. I mean, there's parts like I've still got to finish the floor off at the front. All the back side of the floor is boarded, and that's all insulated. I mean, not only are we insulating the walls, we're going to be insulating the roof, and also I've insulated the floor. Uh, the floor is, I built the frame, I put old bricks to raise it up and then I put a plastic sheet and we got some old carpet and uh, backing for underlay for carpet which we're going to line the floor as you can see I've done the back section and you know we'll see how that works. That's kind of sort of the thing about Trevor is the difference between Trevor and me, my builds. When Trevor tends to build something, he does a whole lot better job than I do. His builds are prettier, uh, more stable, <laughs> and uh, basically we call them, you know, the mansion, you know, because, uh, you know, it's just his builds or just his thought process is, is a lot further out than mine is i kind of sort of i have a need we got to get this done i got to get this done and i build it however with whatever i can as quickly as i can uh, hence the wonky shack which i think y'all nope y'all have never seen it and you never will either because trevor took it apart <laughs> uh, but i mean some of my builds aren't bad they're not bad they're not great but they're not bad they're functional and and you know again built out of scrap lumber and stuff that's so what, well, that's what it's all about you know, that's, it's got to be functional yeah that's what we do i mean you 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 see every once in a while you'll see pallets lying around and stuff and and we actually got a pallet of pallet boards which is this here this is pallet boards they've never been had a screw or a nail into them so they really work well to do the siding on the building and it kind of sort of makes it look 
a little bit better, in my opinion. So, but we're not doing bad. So, I just thought we'd give you an update. So, see what's going on here at the homestead, because I know we haven't posted in a while. So, thanks for watching. I'm Whitney. I'm Trevor. See you later. Bye.